armed policemen in Abuja today have opened fire on human rights activists. Omoyele Shiwori during a protest on demand or to demand an end to insecurity in the country. Omoyele Shiwori was shot in the right side of the stomach towards the heap by gun-wielding policemen drafted to the Unity Fountain. The police, who had already been stationed at the fountain before the arrival of the activists and other protesters, opened fire on the unarmed protesters. Just been hit by a police officer, ACP Atine, at the Unity Fountain in Abuja, hashtag revolution now. Let the struggle continue, even if they may take my life. Hashtag Buhari must go. Omoyele Shori tweeted on his Twitter page. Many people also sustained varying degrees of injury during the incident. He has been rushed to an undisclosed hospital as at the time of filing this report. Recall that Omoyele Shori had in initially posted on his Twitter page encouraging Nigerians to come out en masse to protest against the insecurity in the country over the period of time and um, slated today as the day they uh, should actually carry out the protest. And as it is right now, Omele Shore has been shot by the Nigerian police. And as it is, he has been rushed to an undisclosed hospital as it were. As nobody can tell exactly what the challenge is. So the question is, what is actually the offense of Omoyele Shiwori that he was actually shot by the Nigerian police? Could it be an order to kill him or could it be an order from above to get him incapacitated, to be unable to protest against the government? Because from the look of things, could it be that they want to incapacitate him so that he would not be a pain in the ass of the Buhari's administration again or what? Because this particular um, issue of him being shot is or shot at is actually uh, uncalled for and is unreasonable, if you'd ask me. This is really, really unfair. The Nigerian, uh, the international community has to wade into the situation and uh, understand that the Buhari administration is a tyrant uh, administration. They are into tyranny because they don't want people to talk. They criticize. Uh, they, they, they criticize uh, other administrations, but they don't want people to criticize their own government. And that is not how democracy works. The Nigerian government does not have respect for human rights at all. This is pure evil. I stand to be corrected if I'm wrong, but this is pure evil. There is no way, uh, you know, people across the world where there are democracy, where democracy government is actually uh, practiced, that you don't have people who protest against the government, you don't have activists. When the government is not doing well, when the government is not doing right, people criticize, and if, it, if need be, people go out there to protest. And Nigeria should not be an exception in this case. People need to express their feelings, express themselves, and they, 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 they have their right to express their dissatisfaction with every government as it is. Nobody as it is, no government should be able to stand in the way of people right or activists to be able to protest and criticize any government. And that is how we can monitor every administration and put them on their toes to deliver. But it is unfortunate that even the Buhari's administration has not been able to deliver despite criticisms, despite uh, um, activism in the country. Rather, they have turned deaf ears to the cries of the Nigerian people. This is really, really sad and unfortunate. Gunshots and killing on daily basis from both state and non-state actors on the daily basis in Nigeria now. That is the current situation. The current regime has successfully led Nigeria into a state of anarchy, and that is what we see daily. Now the, the country is bleeding. The nation bleeds. The government bleeds. The citizens bleed. And that is what is happening in the country. This is sad and unfortunate. It is uncalled for, if you'd ask me. This is really, really a terrible situation as it were. The right... To protest is a constitutionally guaranteed right that cannot be taken away from any law-abiding Nigerian citizen. And this, the government must understand. The police officer 
who actually shot him should be arrested and prosecuted immediately because this is condemnable. It is really, really sad and unfortunate. It is unfair to democracy. It is unfair to Nigeria. It is unfair to the uh, to, to, to the world in general that people should uh, be denied of their rights to actually express their freedom as it is. Under good luck, Jonathan, you know, he was being... People were not people were not suppressed in any way. People were not prevented from carrying out their duties. People were not prevented from carrying out protests. Even Buhari himself protested against Good Luck Jonathan during his tenure, and that is during the uh, uh, Nigerian protest, where the cost of petroleum, when Jonathan wanted to remove subsidy, and uh, he wanted the cost of petroleum to go on, he wanted to increase it to about a hundred and something naira as a ten. That was around 2014, 2013, thereabout. And uh, Buhari led a protest himself. And uh, now he does not want other people to protest against his government. This is uncalled for. This is unacceptable. This is undemocratic, if you ask me. Something has to be done. They, Those who are responsible need to be arrested and pro prosecuted. It should not be allowed to fly. It should not be allowed to go just like that. Well, we keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold and what will happen at the end of the day, how the government intends to deal with this issue, what the government intends to do at the end of the day. But it must be said and it must be um, noted that Omoye Elishawari, a Nigerian activist and critic of this administration, has faced so much torment in the hands of President Muhammadu Buhari and his cohorts, who do not in any way wants his government to be criticized or tackled based on the level of insecurity and corruption and ill practices that has been witnessed under this administration. This is not a time where Nigerians should keep quiet. It is not a time Nigerians should be silent. This is the time that Nigerians should raise their voices. If anybody has a voice, this is the time they need to lend their voice to save Nigeria, to save democracy, or else the country should just split up. Restructure the country, the man refused to restructure. Allow the country to go into division, the said man still refuses. The question is, what is the agenda that is playing out? What agenda do they have? We keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold. Well, guys, please drop by at the comment section. Let's know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe. Please, kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Endeavor to share these new stories with your friends, family, relations, and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support, and I'll see you guys on the other news. Thank you, and bye for now.